Click. Hi, this is the Bag's video monitor. Oh, hey Steve, how are you doing? Hello, Bag. I was searching the internet for our arch enemies, and I found this video. Why, hello! I am Professor Ben Savage, and I am not a mad scientist. Just because I have an eye patch, and I am running for office in the fall. And you should vote for me, and also vote for my friends, who are not evil chicken minions, so do not ask me again! They're not evil chicken minions, and I am not a bad scientist, so you should vote for me! Thank you for your time. Goodbye! Well, that's sort of bad. So, um, what exactly should we do? Do, Bag. I say we don't do anything. First off, I looked at the info on his ad, and it only got 12 views. So no one's seeing it. Second, who would vote for someone whose last name is Savage? Hmm, this ballot's so confusing. I don't know who I want to vote for. Oh, this one looks fairly easy. I don't want pirates stealing my ships. Oh, wait, is that Ben Savage from Boy Meets World running for office? I would so definitely vote for him because his show is awesome. We interrupt this program for a special message. Some of the votes are in. Ben Savage has won the election for an office. Wow, he got old since he played that little curly-haired kid on that sitcom show. Anyways, the other office members that have gotten elected are Abraham Lincoln, Glegel, Oprah, and Topanga, who all happen to resemble evil chicken minions for some reason. It's almost like... These people aren't actually Ben Savage from that one show, or the other people who you think they are. Oh well, have a good night. Steve, there's no telling what evil will happen with a mad scientist and evil chickens in office. We need to come up with a plan. Like, warning them in the first place? Or at least inform them to research their local candidates first? Nah, like beat up random bad guys. Or something like that. Oh, look, there's another news report. Well, more votes are in from the election, and it looks like Proposition R has passed. This means that any potential pirates can and will be arrested on the spot as long as there is evidence including things such as eye patches, having or being a parrot, or other birds for that matter, having a beard, having yucky teeth, and anything else that could be pirate activity. That's it. I know how to shut Savage down. He wears an eye patch. So, all we have to do is accuse him and the chickens, since they're birds, of being pirates and warrant their arrest, and then they'll be arrested. Couldn't we have did the same for his past crimes? Away! Well, I'm gonna just stay here. Haha, <laughs> Dr. Savage, I found your secret lab. But you cannot arrest me, because I'm in office! Oh, but I can, because due to the new law, you are considered a pirate because of your eye patch. No! Get in my chicken minions! Ha 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 no! Now you must face me! Ah! Well, it looks like the day is saved thanks to that bill to arrest pirates. 
What's wrong with your eyes, Steve? Oh, well, somehow one of those chickens hit me, and now I have to wear this eye patch. Freeze! This is the police. You're suspected of being a pirate because you have an eye patch on. Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. That pirate bill is a bad thing. All names are used in the use of purity and humor, and any similarities to other things are coincidental. Also, this video was not made to support a particular candidate. So please, do not think that this is saying that Romney is an evil chicken minion and Obama is a mad scientist.